Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We'll be back. I'm What's up, J team? If you're new here, I'm Trinity, and all you gotta do is click subscribe to join the family. So I am back with another What's Under the Microscope? What does your food look like under a microscope? I love doing these videos. These are like satisfying to me, a little scary, but it's time to get to the truth because it might taste good. But when you look closer, it might not look good. And today, we are gonna find out. Make sure to like this video if you enjoy it. Um, definitely like this video if you did miss these type of videos. This is like my third time doing this and I'm just so happy to be doing it again on this channel. <sighs> Let's go. Let's see what your food look like. Let's see. First thing is a dirty carrot. Let's give y'all a zoom in. Never been washed. Organic. We gonna see what this look like. One thing's for sure, it's important to wash your vegetables. Very important. So this isn't gonna do anything but make that clear again. Ooh. There is definitely some dirt particles on here. <laughs> oh man. I be getting scared, y'all. Like, see, I'm the type to not really even watch scary movies like that. I'm the one to cover my face and now I'm just like, I don't know if I wanna see something. <laughs> okay, a little bit of damage, you know. Maybe some rabbits tried to attack this carrot on its way out. All right. I always feel like some type of doctor doing this. Ooh, let's look at this bulgy area. Is that a hair? That is a hair. Why is there always hair on every food? There's always, whenever I do these videos, there's always a hair. There's always a hair. There's another one. And another, another one right there. But see, you can't see it. This is crazy. Imagine if someone was so like obsessive that they had to look at their food under a microscope in order to eat it. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. <laughs> that was kind of weird. But see this hair right here, this is what normally is on a carrot. Like, you know, like the little stem things, but obviously that black hair, that's not it. And I pulled this right out the bag. You know what, stay tuned because at the end of this video, I'm gonna wash this carrot as hard as I can and look at it under a microscope. And we gonna see if I could clean this carrot to the point that it looks tasteful. I need to see that when I wash my vegetables, it actually gets washed. I mean, Greta, we can't save ourselves from everything out here, but we should give ourselves the best chance, right? Well, you're free to go. You're free to go. The next thing that we're gonna look at under a microscope is a fluffy marshmallow. You would think looking at it, it's not gonna give it to us. You know, it's not gonna give us that, uh, that look because it's just white and fluffy, but we won't know until we look at it under a microscope. By the way, if you want to purchase this microscope, I got it off Amazon. You know your girl, stay on Amazon. The link will be below. It's really cool, it's something to do when you're bored. So, you know, you'll have fun. Marshmallow, give it to us, marshmallow. Okay, well for one, I see some black particles. It's giving granite counter, it, it's giving, it's, it's giving island, it's giving decor. It's giving counter, good quality counter. What is this? I mean, was this marshmallow in a fight? Oh, okay, I can see it on here, but where did it come from? It could have been anything, Jesus. Another hair, hold on, we gotta find that hair. Another hair, another hair. It makes sense to me that hair or lint is always part of a food. I don't think that's something that we can avoid. I would go to restaurants and you know, might be a strand of hair in there and you're asking yourself, where did this come from? How? Another, another piece of hair, hold on. Ugh, this thing is tricky. I gotta try to find it again. There it is. Can I see it? No. This is why it's important for us to keep our immune system 
up to par. Take your vitamins, drink your water, just stay healthy because this is why we have an immune system to just help us out, you know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like we were made to fight a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? We were made in such a beautiful way that we kind of got a head start and that's our immune system. Your girl gonna take some vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin A. I'm taking the whole alphabet after this video. Even though, since I'm pregnant, I have been taking a lot of vitamins lately. All right, Marshmallow. We should open you up though, because it's really that inside. Ooh, we like that, don't we? We like that. This is what we wanted. That's just pure, it's snowy. It's snowy, it's moist. Ooh, we should play a game where like we guess what the object is through the microscope. Watch it be on a game show. Watch it be on Netflix. That would be so fun. I'm gonna look into that. If y'all want me to do that, I'll definitely do that. However, someone else is gonna have to <laughs> get things to look under a microscope for me to guess. It looks just like snow. Sorry if it's wobbly, y'all. Wow, well, okay, Marshmallow. Let's sew you back together. You can go. Are we not gonna find a piece of hair on something? <laughs> we'll see. The next thing we're gonna look at under a microscope is some noodles. Some top ramen. Oodles and noodles. You know what? Where did oodles and noodles come from? Is it a culture thing? I have a piece right here. I'm gonna put it down and let's see. No problems here. It's so crazy. I always, whenever I do these, I just think it's like a scary movie or something. Like something's gonna pop out. <laughs> it might. I mean, this looks nice. What do y'all think? It's giving funnel cake, honey. It's giving funnel cake. Wait, what are you? Just checking. Oh gosh, I got scared. That was my nail. <laughs> I'm about to say, what is that? I'm not seeing anything suspicious. When I look close at it, what I'm seeing on the microscope is exactly what I'm kind of seeing from here when I look close, you know? Like these little specks. This is definitely a good reminder though. Things are going through my mind and let's just say this is a good reminder. <laughs> well, okay, oodles and noodles. You looking good. What is that? Okay, I thought that was a piece of hair. All right. Well, I'm not even going to hold you. You can go. You can go. Girl Scout cookies. Now listen, I love Girl Scout cookies. Support your Girl Scouts. They be out here on the corners, outside of stores, and I can't help but to buy. I can't help but to buy it. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's like a seasonal thing. Like you just have to. You just have to buy some Girl Scout cookies. Like I don't know why, I don't know why, but you just got to. My favorite are the mints. Let me know what's your favorite. Mine are definitely the thin mints. Mm -mm -mm. They hit. Mm. With a tall, cold glass of milk. <sighs> Let's take one out. Let me eat this one. All right. I don't care what's under this microscope. This is going to be a cookie I eat. Ooh, giving smooth. Giving smooth. Well, they said what you see is what you get. It's just really smooth. Nothing is sticking out, which is very good. Actually, looks like it has like um, little silver particles in it. Oh, the chocolate is melting. Listen, we're not gonna hold this. The girls have spoken. We like the mint cookie. Next thing we're gonna look at under a microscope: blueberries. These blueberries have not been thoroughly washed. Just to make that clear. We're gonna get a couple of them and let's see. 
It definitely ain't giving moisturizer. Mm, it's kind of hard to focus on it a little bit because they're so round. I'm pretty sure that these are you know what we're gonna thoroughly clean these blueberries and see what it looks like after i heard that a lot of wax ends up on blueberries like wax and and dust and stuff you gotta thoroughly wash your vegetables you have to actually on tiktok not too long ago i opened up a bag of spinach that said thoroughly washed thoroughly washed and literally there was a clunk of dirt on my spinach now I didn't trust it anyway however if something's being advertised as saying that it was thoroughly washed I don't expect a clunk of dirt to be sitting in my spinach you know what I'm saying ooh it's giving ashy. It's time to thoroughly wash the carrot and we need to see if we can get that as clean as possible and look at it under a microscope. Let's do that now. I have a few tools that should help me. So this is our carrot. I'm going to be using this to scrub it. Now this is something that you can find off Amazon and it is made to scrub vegetables. So I'm gonna run this water and Let's just give it like a scrub before we start to apply other things. Oh, it looks cleaner already. Now my thing is when I eat carrots like these, I actually scrape off the um, skin anyway. <laughs> and then I cut it up. That's just because I don't know. I just trust issue. All right. Got that a good little scrub. Next, I'm going to actually use this product right here, Arm & Hammer. It says it safely eliminates pesticides and wax. So let's see. Then after this, I mean, I can use vinegar. Vinegar, I can use that. Cause I know that um, definitely kills things. It says to let sit for 15 minutes before rinsing. Okay. Give it a nice spray. I want to scrub it again though. Let me scrub it one more time. <laughs> and then spray it. I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. All right. Let's spray it. And let it sit for 15 minutes. And then rinse. And then we're going to look at it. And I guess compare it to when we first looked at it. I am, I definitely feel like there's gonna be an improvement, but I just wanna see how much of an improvement it does make. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and also wash these blueberries. Cause they definitely need to be washed, okay? And I told myself that whenever we get our uh, fruits and vegetables that we're gonna like clean them and then store them. Wow, I can see a difference already. It does say that this is not at all harmful and it is gluten free and vegan. So, ooh, it definitely looks better already for sure. So, I'm gonna let these sit in here for 15 minutes as well and we'll see. All right, y'all. So, it has been 15 minutes. This carrot still look a little weird. <laughs> it does, just being honest. But, let's see for the verdict. Ooh, I mean, I can see some improvements, but I'm sure y'all will let me know. Let's see if we can find that hair. Oh, I see it. I don't know how I feel about the fact that I I, I scrubbed this as hard as I as hard as I could, and and it's still on here. That makes me feel some type of way. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, I guess it, it's like it eliminated the majority. You know, it does look cleaner though. Uh, okay, hmm, all right. I feel like I kind of failed, but I mean, I tried my best. So now I'm actually going to shave this carrot so we can get to the good part. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what we want, them juices. 
it's all on the inside you know see the thing is things may not look good on the outside but show enough you know it look good on the inside it looks beautiful i'm getting hungry oh yes so i will probably continue on shaving off the outer part of a carrot as i've been doing <laughs> I'm gonna put you on a side for my uh, carrot salad that I've been loving lately. Now for the blueberries, y'all. And let's take a closer look. Blueberries are shiny, aren't they? They're giving off some shine. That's why it looks white. One thing's for sure is it's definitely cleaner. Who knew? Yeah, that looks way cleaner way cleaner so the final thing we're gonna look at and i don't know if i've ever done a part tart i feel like i did so nice of my husband to sacrifice his favorite part tarts for this video let's see here a pop tart yeah i think we have done a pop tart before y'all i remember seeing something similar to this this would have been better with a part tart that had like the little sprinkles. It's giving what I thought it was gonna give, for sure. Plus this has such a flat surface, let's bust this thing open. Let's see. Ooh, that's that good stuff. That's that good stuff right there. Who can guess this type of pop tart? Let's see who can guess this type of pop tart. It seems pretty easy to me off of looking at it. Ooh, that looks like honey. Ooh, let's just let's just let it sit right there. Let's just let it sit. Ooh, that look good. I think I'm hungry. All right, y'all. So this ends my looking under a microscope. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. I hope this did bring some insight to um, what does your food look like under a microscope, okay? <laughs> make sure to stay safe out there. Make sure to take your vitamins. Just stay healthy. Overall, just stay healthy. If anything, get that at the end of this video. Take your vitamins. Do what you need to do to stay healthy. You'll be okay. Big shout out to the J team right here. If you want to shout out like them, all you got to do is click subscribe to that notification bell and let me know below. And that's it. Make sure to be bold, brave, and beautiful. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.